Good morning. Our ancient antiphon. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you is found forgiveness, O God of Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. As we gather today, we call upon the Lord's presence with us and seek to open ourselves to his love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, in Christ we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. In him you also, who have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and have believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance toward redemption as God's possession to the praise of his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Bless, Bless the, the people, people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-stringed lyre, chant his praises. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Bless, Bless the, people. the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Bless the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down. He sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, so many people were crowding together that they were trampling one another underfoot. Jesus began to speak first to his disciples. Beware of the leaven, that is, the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. There is nothing concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the darkness will be heard in the light, and what you have whispered behind closed doors 
will be proclaimed on the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but after that can do no more. I shall show you whom to fear. Be afraid of the one who, after killing, has the power to cast into Gehenna. Yes, I tell you, be afraid of that one. Are not five sparrows sold for two small coins? Yet not one of them has escaped the notice of God. Even the hairs of your head have all been counted. Do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Jesus uh, offers some pretty stern words today for uh, against the Pharisees and, and the hypocrisy um, that they have um, expressed, you know, time and time again up to this point in the scriptures. Um, and as we encounter this reading today, it's a uh, it's an interesting message, I think, uh, for us as well. Of course, to always watch out for hypocrisy, right? That's always our interest. Uh, to have our beliefs and our actions kind of in line um, so, that, so that we are true to who we are. But then um, Jesus goes on to talk about this uh, uh, kind of where we fit in the whole scheme of things and our relationship with him. And I was reading a reflection that um, kind of captured it. Um, it's what, you know when you walk into a, a beautiful cathedral, right? Or you, or you even walk into this church. The idea is that we are to be swept up in, in the, 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 the large, largesse of God, right, um, of, of creation, of, of this great message that of, of God's power. Um, and, and then, but at the same time, we are to get that feeling that we are loved um, in the midst of that, how that, that great universal love becomes so very personal for each one of us. And in this gospel passage today kind of echoes that sort of thinking, that Jesus wants us to understand that, that we, are, we are his, right? He doesn't want us to get puffed up, thinking that we're more important than we are or, or, or anything like that, that we belong to him and to never forget that, and that he never forgets us. So he uses that image of the, the sparrows, right? Even two sparrows, the Lord has got them. He's, he's got them covered. He's got them counted. The hairs on our head, right? Every one of those is counted by our God. As I always say, it's easier for God for some people than it is for others when it comes to that. But that whole idea that as, as, as big as we get caught up into thinking that God is, that love is still very personal. And we get to experience that once again today as we hear his word spoken directly to us, and as we receive uh, the body and blood that are given, that is given to each of us, that are given to each of us individually, so that as we walk forth from here, we have that sense that our God is with us as we go about our day. So as we continue our prayer this morning, um, that's a tremendous reality to open ourselves to and to receive. So let's ask the Lord, maybe we could just receive that goodness today, receive that love today, open our hearts to that with the whole uh, intention that maybe we can be the agents of that love to the people uh, whom we encounter this day. So we ask the Lord's blessings on us as always uh, to give us that sense of his presence to us, that awareness of his presence to us, and that uh, the gift of knowing that we are loved and that we are called to do the same. Let's stand and we'll offer our prayers this morning. For members of the church throughout the world, may the outpouring of the Holy Spirit sanctify each one of us in our daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> For leaders of nations and all those in authority, May God grant them fortitude in governing wisely with justice and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For those who are afraid, may God give them peace in the knowledge of his love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here, may the love of Christ enfold us and strengthen our confidence and belief in his forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they be embraced by the love of Jesus and rest in eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our special intentions, and especially for Kenny Brinkman, for whom this Mass is being offered this morning, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we thank you for all the many ways that you bless us. We ask you now to hear us as we pray. Listen to the prayers we've spoken and those that we hold in the silence of our hearts. In your compassion and mercy, answer us according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, 
save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mitchell, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
For those unable to receive sacramentally this morning, let us offer our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Have a great day. The Lord be with you. May God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.